Alright, hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Alrighty, so we're back with our teens, well I guess they're not teens anymore, our young adults tier at Sim State University and... I played a little bit off camera because they had um, their midterm or whatever you want to call it, their final exam. So I had them really, really study, really, really work hard, make sure they, you know, had their performance bar all the way up, all their skills. And I'm so proud of them. They all made the dean's list. They all have a 4.0 GPA. They all got grants. So they're doing really, really good. Um... But right now, I just have them hanging out because their midterms were like super early, like 5 o'clock in the morning, and it kind of got them all jacked up on their sleep schedule. Um, but I do want Dustin to, I think, take a nap because, because I have been doing some thinking. Um, well, we're going to sleep. I guess you can't really, really take a nap in the bed, which is kind of silly. But I've been thinking and I've gotten some of y'all's opinions. I've been collecting them over the past few videos when I've mentioned it. But we all know that where is she at? Angela has been a little bit of a twat. <laughs> I mean, that's a very inappropriate word, I'm sorry, but she has. She's been not nice to our boy. Um, she's been kind of like leading him on. She's cheated on him. And Dustin, he loves her. Like, it's his first love. And he genuinely is a good guy. I know he has like this bad boy exterior, but he really is a good guy. And he really does care about Angela. Well, I think he's seeing now that they, you know, have grown up a little bit i guess you would say um and they're in college and like they, they basically live together right but they don't ever see each other she never wants to spend time with him i mean granted they all are very busy um with school and everything so it's not completely not her wanting to it's just she doesn't have the time to but you know he's talked to a lot of other girls more and Oh, Lexi, she's coming to wake us up and tell us we have to go to class. Thanks, girl. I almost forgot. <laughs> but anyways, he's been talking to... Um, I, I don't think you have cell phones in The Sims 2, right? You know, this is old school. Oh, our phone's ringing, though. Where is I? Uh, I think everybody's, like, sleeping and napping. But is everybody asleep? Yeah, okay. Well, I think it's time to wake up. Okay, we have a phone call. Let's see who it is that's calling us. But anyways, we don't have, like, texting, right? Because this is, like, the olden days back. Y'all kids don't know about it. But maybe they have, like, T9 texting. Because I think you can go to the store and buy cell phones. But it's going to be, like, the T9 texting. But anyways, like, in classes. He has been talking to, what's her name? Oh, no, not Meadow. It is, oh my gosh, what's her name? Kitty Lou. And she's attracted to him, and he's attracted to her. And I think Kitty really likes Dustin, and she's been asking him to, you know, come hang out with her. And, you know, he's kind of been giving her the roundabout because he is in a relationship, and he doesn't want to, like, cheat on her. He's just not that kind of guy. But at the same time, he's really been fed up with her because she's been acting very sketchy lately and just acts like she doesn't want anything to do with him. And I think he's about had it, um... It looks like Dirk is going to take a shower. But as far as Dirk and Lilith go, I'll have a lot of you tell me to keep them together because opposites attract and have them, you know, work it out and stay together. But then, you know, Angela and Dustin, it's nothing that I could force anyways. They just don't, they're just not doing good, okay? They're not. Um, but, you know, Dirk and, and Lilith are. And I, I think that they have, okay, I played off camera and there was actually not they was fighting a little bit and the reason why let me tell y'all the reason why they were fighting is because they tried to go hang out together as a group and then of course of course freaking Angela and Lilith you can't take them anywhere right all they freaking did was fight like fist fought it was it was awful it was it was terrible <laughs> um and you know, Dirk was kind of like, you know, trying to like reprimand um, Lilith and just be like, you know, why don't you just be the better person, Lilith, you know? 
you really should, you know, work on your relationship with your sister. Maybe if you try a little harder, she will. And she kind of, like, snapped on him. And he didn't like it very much. He didn't take it very well. He kind of got pissed off. But he does have the want to get engaged to her because he does care about her. And, you know, what I think that I've discovered and that what I think Dirk's known all along is that... Lilith hides behind the rebellious attitude, behind the rebellious clothing, to hide how, you know, smushy and soft she is on the inside, how vulnerable she is. Um, so, I, I really don't think she's that hard. She's not that rebellious. And, you know, honestly, that's not even really her style. She just does it to get a reaction out of her parents and out of everybody else. And I think, you know, Dirk knows that. And he's, you know, he knows the real Lilith. And he wants everybody else to know her, too. And so, you know, he's been saying, I want you to be who you are when you're with me. Like, that's the real you. And so, you know, she agrees with him. But she doesn't want anybody calling her out on her ish, you know. <laughs> so... I definitely think that um, that talking to really made her think we might have to give her a little bit of a makeover. I think she is going to tone it down a little bit. Um, not because I'm trying to change her, because honestly, I think that she doesn't have to react like that anymore. She's proven herself, honestly. She really has. Um, with her grades and everything, and you know, she made it. She doesn't have anything to prove anymore. You know, her parents have been calling her. Basically, her pa relationship with her parents has gotten better. It's not as good as it needs to be, but it's getting there. And I think one day, her and Angela are really going to regret their relationship and the fighting and you know they're twins they should be close and one day it could be too late you never know what could happen so i definitely want them to you know hopefully work it out in the future but anyways enough of me rambling and talking and just really catching y'all up on everything what i'm about to do now is have dustin take him a shower and then we are going to go and meet miss kitty while angela is in class uh, he's not even going to tell her where he's going. You know, she doesn't tell him where she goes. So, you know, why why would he tell her where he's going, you know? It's a two-way street, honey. So, uh, let's call uh, let's call transportation. And I think we're going to meet her at the lounge. Um, and just kind of hang out there and get to know her a little bit. Okay, so it turns out Kitty... Um, psychic advisor told her she cannot leave the house today. So, she must comply. Which basically means we got rejected. And his face says it all. What the F, dude. <laughs> but for real, he decided he's not going to pass up on the opportunity to go out and have a good time. Because, y'all, as he was leaving in the taxi, we passed by Angela and Willa throwing down in the freaking front of the dorm. Like, they were throwing hands and he's just shaking his head like I can't deal I cannot deal so we're just gonna pop up in here and this is the lounge this is the campus lounge and see you know what sins we can meet you know even if you know it's not any girls we could just like make some friends we don't really have any friends honestly um so let's could we like order a drink yeah we can oh my gosh <laughs> we can order a drink i forgot we're of age now we can drink he's gonna get drunk his first time getting drunk this is memorable but oh i see somebody her name is willow and she looks just like his mom you know what they say boys always oh, go for the Scott. girls that are like not look like their mom but are kind of like their mom i mean that's what they say and then girls go who for guys are like their dad i don't really know how true that is but that's just what i heard and i hope you're not leaving because i really want to greet you so let's come out here and um hold on no no, no. i want to i want to yes run you better run boy <laughs> i want to greet her we need to make some friends we need to meet some ladies please don't leave willow you look so sad come back i, I can make you happy i, I can like, don't, oh, she's gone, she's gone, okay, well, that was a flop, okay, I hate how when I have, like, all these, okay, we're not catching fireflies, I have all these plans, and then they just kind of, like, come crashing down around me, because there's, like, nobody here, this is the campus lounge, I mean, is this a, what, oh, what night is this, 
what day is this? Do we not know what day it is on The Sims 2? Is that not a thing that we do here? Maybe not. I don't know what day it is. But it's a weekday, evidently, because we have classes and stuff, which, you know, I probably should be studying like everybody else. But I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm out and I'm about. And uh, he really just needs to consider his life and this relationship he's in because I'm telling y'all, it's kind of toxic. So, so we're just going to give it some time for some more people to show up. i just seen someone come up here. Oh my gosh, they're probably leaving again. Elena. Oh, that's not Elena. I can't read. I, 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 Aina. Oh, I, I, oh, I, oh, goodness. <laughs> He's not letting him leave again. He's like running to her. Oh my gosh, why do they always leave? He keeps getting rejected and everybody, nobody wants to talk to him. That's really sad. Mm -hmm. I'm Where's sorry. Okay, let's just drink it out. Let's just have a drink. <laughs> Alright, guys. I think we're just gonna <laughs> call this a flop and just go back to the dorms because there's more people at the dorms than there is at this stupid campus lounge. Uh, nobody showed up. The people that have shown up leave before I get a chance to introduce myself. And honestly, he's had a few drinks. He's feeling pretty good. And it's 10 p.m., but of course, it's not going to be quite 10 p.m. when he gets home because, you know... It's going to go back to what time it was when he left. But, um, unfortunately, Angela is back at the dorms. But it's not like she's really probably going to want anything to do with him anyways. Oh, who do we have here? Lucy. Let's try to get out here and say hey to Lucy. Um, oh, looks like she's stopping for us. Okay, hi, Lucy. Don't go anywhere, hmm. please. Oh, my gosh, finally, somebody to talk to. You better run. You've been running to catch up with these girls this whole time, and then now one time somebody actually stops and is interested, you're going to take your sweet time. Okay, yeah, play it cool. Play it cool. All right, so no, 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 no. I've been waiting here, you know, all afternoon to meet somebody, and she's like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm the wrong one, honey. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe they're not interested in each other. Let's have him check her out and just kind of see if there's, like, any... Nope, no attraction whatsoever. Okay, well, I tried. So, anyways, let's call a taxi and head back to the dorms like I was trying to say. We just haven't had any luck, and I don't think Angela's going to be really paying any attention to us anyways. Um... So, we can just hang out with some of the girls there. There's some really cute girls that he's noticed. And, you know what? He is not the type to cheat. And I don't think he is. He's not going to cheat. But, he is going to explore his options. Okay? He's not going to, you know, let her just kind of string him along and have all her fun while he sits around and just kind of waits on her to, you know, get serious about him. He's just not doing it anymore. And, you know... He's had all these girls, like, flirting with him and hitting on him and just kind of, like, telling him the same thing, you know. Y'all have been in a relationship for how long and y'all act, you know, she acts like she doesn't even know you. It's kind of crazy. Uh, so, I think he's really letting that get to him, which, you know, good. He does need to think about these things. It's important. But our taxi is here and let's go back to the dorms and see what we can get into. <laughs> I told you these two are out here. They've been fighting ever freaking since we left. And he's like over it. He's running past. What is he doing? He's, oh, he's waving at them. He's just kind of over it. Like I said, completely over it. Then he's going to come over here and kind of, you know, tell the look. Uh, quite frankly, I was serious. I'm, I'm really kind of over it. Let's kind of, like, um, how do you be mean to people in the sense to I forget? Is that even an option? I don't think so. Um, we can, like, irritate her, argue with her a little bit. Angela, please just, like, go away so we can do that. I mean, we can't do anything if y'all keep, like, going at it, throwing hands. Okay, I think she's hungry. Her, her knees are down a little bit, and... Oh, no! Wake up! I really wanted him to go over here and talk with Suzanne. Join research group, but he's, like, really tired. Okay, well, you know what? The, the, the alcohol got to him a little bit, so I guess now we can kind of, like, focus on these two and, you know, kind of come to a conclusion on what's, you know, going on with them. He's like, look, I told you, I'm sick of it. You and your sister are driving me crazy. I know you better than this, Lilith. You're better than this, so what are you doing? She's like, look, you know, you really have no idea. <laughs> you know, my, you, you think you know. Yes, thank you for being there, but 
you know, my life hasn't been easy. I've always been the odd one out. And he's like, yeah, but you, you make yourself the odd one out. Look, you're actually trying. You're doing good in school. Your parents are proud of you. And then it's just like this ugly competition and bitterness between you and your sister that really needs to stop. And she's just kind of over it. She's like, you know what? Whatever. I'm over it. I really am. So it looks like she's going to play... Um, whatever. No, I think we're going to have her eat, though. And just kind of have her contemplate. Mm, okay. <laughs> Whew, it's a mood, y'all. It's a mood. <laughs> I gotta take a picture. Hold on. Don't mind me. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, I really just want her to kind of, you know... Eat and reflect on what Dirk says because he does mean a lot to her. He really does. And girl, why is he asleep in her bed? Oh no, that's not even her bed. That's Angela's bed. Oh my god, go get up and go to your own bed, dude. Seriously. <laughs> and Angela, Angela, wake up, eat your food, and then I'll put you in the bed. I promise. Okay, yeah, we're going to have him go over here and sleep in his pajamas. And then, oh, like I said, I think they're all just kind of realizing that, you know, life is not what they thought it was. Like, adulting is hard, and they've got big decisions that, you know, are going to make or break their life. And so I think what we're going to do is come over here and plan an outfit for every day. I think she's gonna try to make an effort for Dirk and like I said earlier Dirk is not trying to change her from her style he just knows that she is dressing like this she's acting like this she's fighting like this to hide how you know her soft interior you know if that makes sense does that make sense um so I don't know we might actually have to go shopping I don't know if we have anything that is like really her style um, that's really cute, but I think that's a little bit too girly for her. I wouldn't say, I mean, this is toning it down a notch. Like, it really is. Yeah, I like that. Because, I, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say she's, like, girly, but I also, um, you know, wouldn't say that she's as, you know, punk rockish, you know, as, as she thinks she is. Nothing against that, but, like, with the fake tattoos and everything. So, I think we're going to tone it down a notch and change into that. Um, I think it's kind of sexy. She has off her stomach a little bit. Um, I mean, it, she's making an effort. You know, it's, it's just, you know, you can't uh, build Rome and it can't build Rome in a day. Pair, oh, I don't, I don't know how that saying is, but, okay. Who is this? Alvary Alby. Okay, he would. She would. Okay. Just before you get in trouble, go to sleep. Yes, I know you're really tired. Go to sleep. Anyways, I'm going to let them sleep for a little bit. Okay, I just realized that oh, the air freshman year is almost over. They only have 39 hours until their next exam, which means um, in order for them to do as well as they did last time, I've really got to work on their skills and their performance, which I have been neglecting. You really have got to stay on top of that stuff. So I'm going to have them wake up, work on their like needs a little bit, and um, I guess cause I do want them to do well. I want them to to do well so we're gonna come over here and take a shower girl let's take a shower um i really do want them to to work on their relationship though i don't want them to be this bitter and angry all the time like i think it's gonna take it's gonna take more than just a, oh i'm sorry it's gonna take probably years of mending um this because they're enemies like it's this bad <laughs> um but i think they can do it and I, I want to achieve that hopefully before we end pleasant view but it's like it's raining. All right, so let's check real quick and see. He needs to, or he wants to, complete freshman year, which we're almost gonna do. We have to probably write another uh, midterm paper, I think, I think, I don't know. But for now, we need to work on our skills. So let's come over here and study. We need to study cooking, mechanical, and a body. All right, so we're gonna have him come up here and study cooking. Um, because I think he's doing pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty, doing pretty decent. And he doesn't have class until 6 p.m. So I think we can definitely get his performance up. I mean, it's dark. He's a go-getter. Uh, let's see. What are you doing? Okay, he needs to come down here and eat before we do anything else. Um, yeah, I had all these big plans, you know, with Dustin for this part, which kind of flopped. But it's not over for him. Um, you know, like I said, they still haven't really spoken 
it's been like two days and they haven't even spoken like and they've just been walking around each other it's very awkward very weird um uh, but there's a lot of pretty girls here <laughs> in this dormitory but unfortunately i haven't seen them you know they're always in their room <laughs> and i don't know how to knock on the door and have them come out maybe that's not something that we can do all right so i think yeah we need to wait on her to cook some more omelets because i think oh no maybe we're not that hungry okay let's come over here and use the restroom and then we're going to work on our skills all right update so kitty has called dustin and is apologizing for kind of like billing on him she had cheer practice and all that fun stuff and he's like no it's cool so as you can see the relationship is starting to go up a little bit more so maybe next time we come visit um with the, the teens young adults these here at college we can actually do what i want to do and have dustin kind of explore his options a little bit with kitty because apparently if they're not friends or they don't have like a really good relationship Relationship, they're not gonna come hang out with you. They're just not, you know. <laughs> I mean, that'd be awkward, right? So, um, yeah, I've been having them work on all their skills, which they've been doing really, really good. I'm gonna have them come over here and uh, work on his fun a little bit. I think I've gotten them pretty much all done, you know, with their skills. She's getting a little sleepy, so let's have her come sleep before class. Um, so now I've gotten all their skills. Like I said, I just need to work on doing their assignments and their midterm papers. And that'll get that red up because their performance meter is full. It's just kind of like down in the red, if that makes sense. Not really. It doesn't make sense to me how it works. But, you know, it is what it is. Apparently, you have to have the skills. And you have to have the grades. Who knew, right? <laughs> Maybe that's why college didn't work out for me. All right. So, let's, yeah, let's put the, Can we hang up? Okay, let's hang up the phone. What time do they have class? Um, oh, he has class in one hour. Okay, so he's heading off to class. Cool. So I think this is the class he has with Kitty. So maybe they'll, you know, chat a little bit more in class. That'll be real good. I just want their relationship to just keep getting better and better and better. Um, and then as far as these two go... I told you to eat, but it looks like she's a little preoccupied getting her fun up. I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. You've been working really hard. But yeah, so she's changed her outfit. She hasn't even really had a chance to see uh, Dirk today and show him that she's making an effort, right? She's she's making an effort. She's trying to tone it down a little bit and take into consideration, you know, what he said is true for the most part. Um, but they've been so busy that she, you know, she hasn't had the chance to talk to him. But anyways... Alright, so Dirk immediately walked up and was like feigning himself. He's like, babe, you look so good. Like, I, I like this. I like it. This is, this is better. You know, I hope you, you know, don't take to heart what I said and I see that you, you listened and she's like, yeah, I mean, I don't like to be told that I'm, I'm wrong, but you're right, you're right, and anyway, she's gotta go to class, so, anyways, Dirk is just really happy with himself, and, um, I don't know, to me, honestly, I just, I feel like they're just complete opposites, and I don't think I've ever been with anybody that is the complete opposite of me, uh, obviously, there, we, everybody, you know, differences, we kind of balance each other out, like, past relationships, some were toxic, uh, I've had relationships like Dustin and Angela, but as far as, like, Dirt goes and Lilith, you know, they're different, but it's a good difference, they balance, 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 I can't talk, balance each other out, and it works, it works for them, it really does, but anyways, uh, what's he doing? He's just gonna lounge and, and watch him dance. Okay, a little weird, but hmm, not judging who am I to judge. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I think I definitely foresee that engagement happening soon. <laughs> Hopefully before, you know, Pleasant View is over. <sighs> Maybe they can, like, he can propose on their graduation day. Oh my god, that'd be so freaking sweet. And I hope by then, you know, Angela and Lilith can hash it out. and Or not hash it out, you know, just kind of, like, come to an agreement. I think I'm going to work on that in the next part. Like, I, there's so many things that I want to work on with this group. Um, or these kids. <laughs> But, like, it's so hard because we have all these other families that we're trying to keep up with. But, anyways, we have a, we, we still have a hot minute. We can, we can figure it out, okay? I want to, you know, let Dustin figure out what, you know, is going to happen with his relationship. Um, he's going to go to class. And then I want Dust, oh my god, I get him so confused, Dirk to propose to Angela. But, anyways... I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up now since uh, it's just getting a little lengthy probably and they're all headed off to school, um, class, whatever, and they're working on their skills and they're just really tired and I really need to like pay attention to their, you know, skills and y'all have already heard me 
uh, their skills and needs. And you've already heard me, you know, ramble on and on about, you know, my opinions and what I've been thinking. But anyways, guys, thank you so, so, so much for the support and the love. Thank you for always leaving your comments down below and helping me. It really does mean a lot and it really does help me. I do take it into consideration. So, with that being said, let me know what y'all are thinking about our couples here, our teens, our young adults. I don't even, what do you call them, young adults? Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Bye!